Hi guys, this is Pabli Connect Workshop. In this video, you will learn how to integrate WooCommerce to Google Sheets. So basically what we are trying to do is anytime a new order is created in WooCommerce, that data will be automatically inserted into Google Sheets. Awesome, isn't it? But WooCommerce and Google Sheets are two different companies. Hence, there is no integration between them. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. In this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate WooCommerce to Google Sheets. It is actually an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, you have to visit Pabli Connect website. This is the website. Here, click on sign in. So when you sign in, you will be brought to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own account in just two minutes. Now bring your attention to the connect part. Here, click on access now. So here in the right corner, you will find the option called as create new workflow. Just click it. A dialog box will appear in front of you. It is asking you to enter a name. I am going to give it as WooCommerce to Google Sheets. WooCommerce to Google Sheets. Then click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Here in the choose app, we have to change it from webhook to WooCommerce. This one. In the choose method, we have to change it from new coupon created to new order created. Basically, the idea is whenever there is a new order created, the system will trigger. Now we are going to connect Pabli Connect to WooCommerce. To do that, let's go to our WordPress. Here you will find the WooCommerce plugin installed in it. If you don't have WooCommerce plugin installed in it, just install it. Now bring your attention to the settings. Click on settings. Okay, at the right end, you will find the option called as advanced. Just click it. Then bring your attention to webhooks. Just click it. Okay, so it's showing a button called as add webhook. Again, click it. Okay, in this uh, page called as webhook data, we have to assign a name to it. We can assign any random name. I'm going to give it as blue webhook. As I mentioned, you can assign any random name as you wish. Then the status has to be changed from disabled to active. The topic has to be changed to order created. The delivery URL. To get the delivery URL, just go back to Pabli Connect and simply paste this. This is the delivery URL. Copy this and paste it here. Now the secret, this blank has to be kept empty. The API version will remain same as WP REST API integration v3. Then click on save webhook. So it is showing that the webhook has been created. Okay, so let's see whether we can capture our data from WooCommerce in Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli Connect and here click on capture webhook response. Okay, so it is waiting for a webhook response. So let's order a product in WooCommerce. Let's go to product, all products. So I have made a series of product as you can see. Now let's say I'm going to choose the first product. View, add to cart. As you can see, this is the checkout page and uh, the email address, the first name, the last name and the address all have been filled. The email address is no tears left to cry. The billing address is the first name Ariana. The last name is Grande. The address is 126 Ashoka Enclave and the country is India, city is Bhopal and rest of the details. So the checkout has been filled by a dummy customer. So let's place this order. So it is showing that the order has been placed. So let's check whether Pabli Connect has captured this data or not. Let's go back to Pabli Connect. Yes. The data has been captured. The webhook response is showing that the data has been captured. Let's see. Okay, so this is the first name, Ariana. The last name is Grande. The billing address and the email, of course, no tears left to cry at the rate gmail.com. And the shipping and the rest of the details. Okay, the product name, the product ID. Okay, so we have successfully captured the data from WooCommerce into Pabli Connect. Now we have to sync this data into Google Sheet. But before we sync in the data to Google Sheet, let me show you my Google Sheet. 
so this is my google sheet so as you can see these are the rows name last name price email and billing address i want the customer details to be filled in the columns okay in the name column each customer name will be added here then his last name will be added then the price of the product will be added then his email and of course the billing address likewise every time a new customer orders a product the details will be filled accordingly in the columns okay so uh, let's go back to Pabli connect and here to sync the data to google sheet just click on this plus button so when you click on this plus button a window appears beneath the trigger window this is called as the action window here in the choose app we have to change it from the default api to google sheets okay in the choose method we have to change it from append values to add a new row so basically the idea is in every adjacent row a new information will be appended automatically for example in the first row we have the name in the second row we have the last name then the price and so on so a new information will be appended automatically in a new row that's the idea that is why we have kept the choose method as add new row then click on connect of course in the authorized application just click on connect okay so it is giving me a set of accounts i'm going to click this account and it is asking me to confirm my choice just click on allow okay it is showing that the authorization is successful just click on ok so as you can see a set of blanks has appeared in front of you so the basically the purpose is when we fill this blank we are basically creating a prototype now in the spreadsheet you can see it is showing api sheet the reason why it is showing api sheet is because i have many spreadsheets in my account so one of them is woocommerce to google sheet this is the spreadsheet we want so let's change it to woocommerce to google sheet yes this one and in the sheet it is showing sheet one so the reason is again there is only one sheet that is sheet one now coming to the name to get the name just type the name that we have mapped that is ariana the last name let's see what's the last name that's grande the price okay let's enter the data that we have mapped the price is 300 the email the email of the customer let's again add it no tears left to cry the billing address let's see billing address so this is the billing address so all our blanks has been filled so let's click on save and send test request okay the api response is showing that the data has been added to google sheet so let's check in google sheet whether we can find this data or not so going back to google sheet yes we have received the data the first name is ariana the last name is grande the price is 300 the email is uh, no tears left to cry and this is the billing address so the presence of this information shows that we have successfully connected woocommerce to google sheet with help of pabli connect this means anytime a new order is created by the customer in woocommerce his data will be automatically inserted into google sheets but for your satisfaction let's check it one more time if the integration is working fine or not to do that let's go back to pabli connect and let's save this workflows just save this okay minimize this save this okay and minimize this so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first we have integrated woocommerce to pabli connect and then we have integrated pabli connect to google sheets so let's go back to our woocommerce to check whether our integration is working or not so product all product okay again the series of items uh, i'm going to buy this time the swiss watch view so add to cart okay so this time in this checkout we are going to add a different person so the email address is tom cruise 123 at the rate gmail.com the first name is tom the last name is cruise the address is 234 park avenues the country is india and the rest of the details and let's place order okay so the purchase has been made by the customer called as tom cruise now let's check in our google sheet whether the data has been fetched or not let's go back to google sheets just refresh this 
yes a person called as tom cruise has arrived okay the first name is tom the last name is cruise and the product price is 15 dollars the email is tom cruise 123 and he lives in 234 park avenues so our integration is working absolutely fine so from now onwards whenever a new product is purchased the customer data will be automatically synced in google sheets also, you should know not just WooCommerce and Google Sheets, you can integrate a ton of applications using Pebbly Connect. Thanks.